talking earlier about the difference between point to point and a circuit boards. Kind of a similar discussion when people talk about CNC machines versus handmade. Uh, some things uh, on a CNC machine are going to be much more precise from uh, piece to piece you're going to have more uniformity and I see you guys are doing that here. Absolutely the case. Uh, for years Mesa Boogie built its cabinets with all of the various hand tools and uh, we've had CNC now I don't know maybe almost a decade something like that but you're exactly right and in, in cabinet making uh, what you get is an amazing flexibility to make minor adjustments via the, the CAD drawing and, and those kinds of designs, which our Vice President Jim Ashow does all of the cabinet design and all of the CAD programming. Um, but the pieces that you get to build the cabinets are just exceptionally perfect and the same every time. So again, the consistency, uh, as well as being able to actually maximize the material that's being used um, we're able to have almost no waste with the materials that we use because, for example, any extra pieces that are left cut off of an edge get cut into a bat to create reinforcement for the assembly of the cabinet. You've seen it a little bit in the hardwoods where they have the little cleats that sit on the sides and there's cleats that go behind and in front of the baffle. So uh, there's virtually no waste. With the exception of the, uh, the speaker hole cutouts, which, uh, if you didn't know it, Petaluma is a, uh, is a chicken capital of the United States to some degree, look that up, um, and apparently the people that run the chicken coops love the, uh, the speaker rounds and use them in their chicken coops. That's a useless bit of, uh, of uh, factoid there, but uh, nonetheless, that is the case. So somebody will come by and pick those up. I guess for people that don't know what CNC is, Inside this, this rotating moving box, both the table and the box moves, there is upwards of 12 to maybe 15 different cutting parts. There's round over router bits, there's drills, there's countersinks, there's rabbiters. Uh, there are all these different bits that get switched in and out of the main machine head and they make all the cuts. And then there's also a vacuum table that holds the cut pieces down so that as the machine makes the cuts, um, everything stays in place. And uh, this machine is obviously cutting 412 baffles, and you can see right here, he's uh, taking ones that have just been cut out and sanding down all the rough edges and making sure that it's ready uh, to be uh, put together and assembled. That's cool, there's even a routed out little spot where the support 2x4 goes. That's right, there's a support 2x4 that goes from the front baffle to the rear of the cab and the support sticks up about an eighth of an inch past the plane of where the back sits so that when the back goes on it creates pressure between the, the back and the baffle that the speakers are attached to and it and it solidifies the cab. So, as you can see, these guys are set with all of the parts that they need to go ahead and start assembling head cabinets, assembling 412s, and like we talked about earlier, the different bats that get cut out of the excess. He's nailing in one of those bats right now that's going to reinforce the front baffle when that gets put into place. So these guys are going through and doing the assembly, and ultimately uh, gluing and nailing and clamping, as you can see right here. Make sure that everything gets put together tight and square. And uh, with the raw parts, you can see the edges there that are sticking out off the ends. Once, that, uh, once they get it glued and nailed and assembled, they'll go through with a grinder and knock off those pointy edges. And then it goes through the process of uh, sanding the cabs so that they're nice and smooth and ready to be uh, painted and sealed and then covered in the vinyl. So what we have here is a cab that is has been glued nailed, let to sit overnight to have the glue cured, and ultimately these guys have gone through with the sander and knocked down all the rough edges, made everything really smooth, nice and even, knocked down any bumps so that before it, uh, it goes to get wrapped, it's uh, perfect for perfect smooth surface. It's a great time to talk about the material that we use in the cabinets. It's uh, 
It's a non-void Russian Baltic birch. This is some of the best plywood that you can get. Um, it's a marine grade plywood, so it's resistant to moisture. And this is where the sonic potential of the cabinet starts. Um, the density of the material that you use uh, has a great deal to do with the overall sound that you hear. So for a lot of companies that have a tendency to use particle board in certain places, uh, for us, these are places where tone can be won or lost. Wow. But uh, the materials that we use on the cabinetry is, is a crucial part of the sound that you get from a Mesa Boogie amplifier. And from a CNC machine, obviously.